feel like one of the main reasons people play small indie games is because they are so personal and intimate. So I tried to put myself into this game as much as possible. So almost all the vignettes or uh, little stories you hear in this game, they come from my childhood, where I grew up in the middle of nowhere in central Virginia in the United States. So yeah, that's probably why I love games like this so much, where you explore this open, wide environment and just find interesting things, because that's exactly what I did as a kid. Why talk to anybody anyway? Why bother when I'm happy by myself? I started drawing a lot, mostly animals I saw in the woods by my home. I then imagined designing my own hideouts with things like TVs and pantries full of chips and cookies. I think that idea of leaving home and drawing blueprints started my career. I found a lot of solace in that. I'm not surprised, but I did the same thing, you know? There is something special about having a place to call your own. And now look at us. Well, if you count renting in an overpriced city. <laughs> it's as close as we can get for now. I thought it was important to say that, yes, I actually did draw this with crayons. <laughs> and um, it was just funny to me one day that I was like, I'm working on my game. And I pulled out my little one-year-old's like crayon set to draw this item for this game. I just realized just now that I probably threw away the original. I probably should have kept it and given it away to somebody, but oh well. <laughs> 